Hello Gemini, how are we doing? Welcome to your mid monthly reading. This is going to be for June 2020 for the second half. And today we're going to take a look at a connection you're dealing with, someone you're dealing with, um, an energy surrounding you. It could actually be about work, it could be about your cat, it could be about your family member, it could be basically about just anything. But let's see what's up with you. Keep in mind that this is a general reading, okay? So my name is name with every Gemini. Whoops. Okay, every Gemini. Also, the roles could be reversed. Oh my God. Okay. <laughs> and yeah, take what resonates with what doesn't. Anything else for Gemini? That's quite enough. Let's see. So we so far have joy, miracle. What else? What else? Woo! Damn, Gemini! This is your month! Uh, balance, we have wisdom, we have creation, and enlightenment. So, for some of you, you might be going through some spiritual awakening. That's quite possible. Uh, it is here, and I feel like you're starting to accept it, basically. And starting to create, possibly manifest. I feel like you're manifesting new things into your life. Uh, you're also balancing out... Um, I'm getting that this is about your life in general, not about a relationship necessarily. Um, but yeah, I feel like you're manifesting uh, things. And that could actually be about love. You could be manifesting someone new. You could be manifesting a new beginning with someone. But overall, things are just super balanced. And I feel like you're really aware of uh, what you need to do, where you need to go. You know, you, you are aware of the consequences at all times. And I feel like you're getting your wishes fulfilled, to be quite honest with that miracle card. I feel like you're, well, you're in your season. Um, well, not anymore, because it's the mid-month, but you just think from your season. So you're, you're feeling really powerful, at least it's what's showing up in the cards. Let's see from the Romance Angels what we have for you. Yeah, definitely. All right, anything else for Gemini? All right, so we got, oof, yeah, we have Colin in your soulmate. You're definitely manifesting. And you also have religious factors. This for me is also always a very spiritual card. Um, this co connection could be divine, uh, but it, it's just basically someone you're manifesting and true love is coming. And I feel like you're going to have a lot of fun because this is this is feeling like it's definitely someone new. Um, it could be a new beginning with a person you already know. Take it however resonates, you'll know better. But it's it's going to be really, really fun. It's going to be like you're a teenager all over again. Um, it's looking really, really good. I feel like you have your life under control, to be honest. And you're very intuitive. That's beautiful. I'm loving it. Let's see. Ooh. Okay. One more. Yes, that's it. <laughs> Look at this. Ace of Cups. Okay, so for the overall energy, I'm actually going to take one more, please. Give me one more. For the overall energy. Energy surrounding Gemini and this person during the mid -month. Okay, we got three more. <laughs> That's fine. So we have Page of Wands, Page of Cups, Knight of, uh, of Cups, and the Page of Swords. A lot of pages. So again, it's going to feel very childish, but I don't see it in a bad way. I feel like it's just going to be very youthful, you know, with that playfulness card. It's just going to be very fresh. And again, it's, it's feeling like you're in high school again with those crushes and all that. Um, and love is coming towards you. I feel like you are going towards love and love is coming towards you. So that's quite awesome. Uh, look at this. Seven of Cups. Options. You got options going on. That's nice. Let's see what's your energy for the mid month. What's the energy for Gemini during the mid month? That is way too many. Okay. 
you want to get out, get out. All right, let's see. We have a bunch of things going on. Yeah, so it's actually looking really, really good. You have this Five of Cups, the Devil. So something uh, you probably went from, are coming from a breakup or just from a a, a little bit of a rough period uh, from the uh, past couple of months um, or even from the beginning of the year. I feel like it's, it hasn't been easy for you. But you're walking away from that energy with this Eight of Cups going towards new beginnings, okay? And I feel like you've been waiting and working really hard on yourself and to get this new beginning. And it's here now, baby. It's here now. You have the star that is wish fulfillment. And I feel like you're super, super determined into getting this new beginning, okay? Working on yourself, nourishing yourself. Um, I feel like you're really in a really, really good place where things are just coming to you because you've been doing the work let me see what's the energy of per of the person down nice dealing or is going to deal during the mid month too many Okay, let's take a look. Huh. So to be honest, I feel like you're going to bring a little bit of light to this person. Cause this miracle card is for me it's also about it's not only about you know miracles, it's also about you being the light to others. And that's sort of what I feel like you're doing um this uh mid month. You're being that light to others. You're bringing happiness to this person. Because I feel like they do have the happiness in their life, but they might also have too much going on um, at work, at their life. Uh, for some reason, I feel like they are going through a bunch of changes, like possibly moving moving out of their parents' house, um, uh, moving jobs. I don't know, just, just so much that they need to look at that it's kind of difficult for them to figure out, okay, what do I need to do now? And balance for them is not that easy. And you're so balanced that I feel like you're going to bring a little bit of stability into their life. Um, but yeah, they could be a Leo, quite possibly. Let me see. What are your feelings? Towards this person. Six of Swords. Let's see what else. Just that. Okay. Six of Swords, Six of Cups. Wow. So yeah, I feel like you're moving towards love. I don't feel like you love them already, but um, you're getting there, you know? This is probably a friend. Right now you're just friends. Uh, with that devil and that playfulness, you could be friends with benefits and you're starting to grow, uh, starting to have more feelings towards them. But feelings are growing from your side. I feel like you're going from a very passionate thing uh, and what it could be just a crush or something. Um, Tori is something with a lot of love here. What are this person's feelings? Tori is Gemini. Okay, what else? Okay, so we have two. So uh, we have the King of Wands and the Hierophant. So this def this person is definitely super attracted to you, by the way. Um, could definitely be a Leo. We have Leo here twice. It could also be an Aries or a Sag or a Taurus. Uh, but they do see uh, a future with you. They do see some potential here. And it's a very strong connection, I feel like. And they feel it, you know. Um... Yeah, on their side, there's passion, there's love, there's... And again, I feel like you're that light for them. 
That's quite awesome. Let me get some cards for the potential outcome during the mid month. Okay. I feel like you're not going to be scared of being alone. Uh, so this connection might not uh, be official during June, but I feel like you're you're going to be okay with being alone. Also because I feel like you're going through some spiritual awakening or some sort of thing. Um, and you're starting to follow more your intuition. You're starting to be okay with yourself and with your spirit guides and like just trusting the unknown. And that's really, really good. And when it comes to this um, connection, I feel like things will start to move slowly because... Uh, and I feel like it's both, are very in tune with your intuition. Um, so you're just going to take things, I feel like slowly, but in a very good pace. Possibly, you're possibly both single and possibly uh, single for a very long time. I'm getting that. Um, but yeah. So right now for the mid-month, I feel like things are going to be very small, very... Um, very uh slowly very slow but but it, it is looking good it is looking good so let me pull ooh, this is the other way around some messages from the universe and advice for you for the mid month oh you want to come out <laughs> look at this your wishes are coming true yeah you're definitely manifesting wasn't it to you I think it was you or Taurus possibly that were manifesting too for the month of June. I don't know. Oh yeah, it was. Okay. <laughs> I just saw my notes. Uh, it was you. You were manifesting and you keep manifesting. That's quite awesome. Anything else for Gemini? All right. So we also got free like a bird. So yeah. Um, again, I feel like you're leaving all that crazy bad energy. Five of Cups, the devil. You're walking away from that. And you're moving towards um, a very comfortable position with yourself, with who you are. And that's incredible. It's, it, it's really going to feel like freedom. You're going to feel like you. And that's quite awesome. So let me pull some messages from your person. Some messages from this person to Gemini, please. Oops. All right. So ooh, we want this. Sunflowers aren't as beautiful as you are. Again, this person is really, really attracted to you. And we also got that from the King of Wands. So that's basically just a confirmation. <laughs> oh, oh, okay. It's you. Come here. I'm scared of this. Okay. Anything else for Gemini? Especially having that Hierophant. Uh, it's like they feel it. And it's big. Because again, this could be divine. So it, it is huge. And the connection is there. So they're scared of how big this could be. You know? I'm feeling drawn to you. Come here. It's the bottom one. Okay. Life is more special with you in it. That's so beautiful. And again, I feel like you really are the light uh, to this person. You bring some sort of uh, lightness to their life. I don't know, they really like being around you. Let's see, come here, come here. I'll wait for you. So I don't feel like they are going to take any sort of action towards you. I feel like it's up to you. Um, but also, again, I feel like you should just take care of feeling free and you're manifesting. When, when you're manifesting, things will come to you and things are coming to you. Just... Take it, take it easy. Just take it slowly. Don't try to rush anything. Because um, I feel like... And I feel like this person is still not quite ready. So again, I don't feel like... It's what I said earlier. 
mid-month, I'm not sure if this is going to take the next step, but it's definitely getting to it. So maybe in July, who knows? You have to wait and watch. <laughs> that's kind of the next episode. Um, but that's basically it, Gemini. It's looking really, really good. You're doing an amazing job manifesting things and it's looking uh, incredible. So yeah, have a, an amazing rest of June and I'll hope this resonated. I hope somehow and I'll see you next time.